tonight, 72-39 win over West Virginia Wesleyan. Yeah, it's, it's good to get our first win of the year, you know, and uh, our kind of number one thing, we wanted to be excited to play at home. We wanted to come out with a lot of energy and, and enthusiasm and, and play well early, and we obviously did that. And then uh, kind of as this team's bugaboo, we, we were a little bit inconsistent, you know, after that. So um, there, there's – there's good in there, and I think it's also a group that understands we have, we've got a long way to go to hit where we're actually capable of playing. Um, but you can also see that that in terms of talent and depth, it's a pretty good team. So um, we have to continue to grow, figure out who needs to be out there when we need stops and, and where the ball needs to go. And, and uh, that's not – I've kind of been saying that for a while, and maybe you kind of see that after watching tonight, that it's it's a team with some depth. So um, it's good to good to get off to a, a good start here at home. When you get off to, to such a hot start like that, it, it, does that make it more difficult to focus in on little things, you know, in quarters two, three, or four? Yeah, I, I, I think human nature is that you think it's always easy, you know. And uh, so, yeah, I think it is, but it's it's also – our job, my job, to make sure that we grow in uh, in how we handle that, um, you know. And I hope we continue to get off to good starts, and then we just we just play better from from that point forward. So um, hopefully they learned that that uh, I think I know they're capable of more. I will tell you that, and we I think we kind of I thought we really stopped attacking. Um, kind of the rim, we, that kind of went away. And then when that happens, you know, the threes get a little bit harder when they just come perimeter oriented. So, um. Coach, talk about three pointers in the, in the first quarter. You, you, the, how key was that to get off the sort of, you know, April 11th from three early on? How much of that was a point of emphasis in practice so you could, like, shoot the three ball and use that to kind of get the momentum going for, for you guys? Well, I, I think that we definitely feel like as a staff that we have pretty good shooters and we have a number of them. So, um, you know, we have some goals about our ability to do that. And, you know, we got loose for some tonight and we, we knocked them in. So uh, that will be a continued thing, I think, to help us score the ball. And, uh, you know, I think when you get off to a run like that, you have to make people pay. And, and I think we did in the first quarter. And, and honestly, when you look at the game, thank goodness we did it because it was, you know, awfully close to even after that. And so there's great start. We have to learn to continue to put together good things. Coach, something about Abby Demon tonight puts up 15 points. You know, it seemed like tonight the offense and her and Rochelle Scott, it seemed like they were more comfortable with each other the second game out compared to the first game. How much growth did you see on the floor tonight with, with your team? Yeah, I, I, thought we were, uh, I thought we were better about organization um, and not so uh, – I just think they better understood where we wanted them in spots. I thought um, they changed defenses on us a little bit early second quarter. I thought the press was effective, um, kind of kind of controlled tempo, and and that helped helped them. Um, and we need, but we did a nice job of flowing from one thing to another. I I saw growth in that probably more than anything else. But we need to play well at home, so we needed to have good games from you know across the board people. And I, I think at times we were, we were fine, you know. They went uh, nine and a half minutes, I think, without hitting a shot from the floor there in the fourth quarter. You guys kind of locked things down defensively there. Yeah, I mean, we were trying to, I, I think, uh, uh, to be determined on that. You know, we'll go watch film and we'll see how much of that was, was us being in the right spot or not. And um, – I know that this team has the ability to be really good defensively, and we're, we're nowhere close to what we're capable of. I see um, spurts of it and, uh, you know, that consistency word, you know, and, it, and we'll, we'll get better. I mean, I promise you we'll get better. We got, we're better tonight than we were at Purdue, you know, and I know we've got to reload here quickly. We have three important games down in Savannah, so um, we will have to grow. Um, as a group, competitively, both ends of the floor to play well down there. Coach, talk about Savannah on Monday. You know, how, what's the next week look like for you guys getting ready for three tough opponents back to back to back? Yeah, we're off tomorrow, and uh, and that gets us that gives us a little bit of time to uh, to get that stuff ready. But uh, you know, we Tennessee Martin, um, 
that's a really good program in the OVC. Um, had, had a really coming off a really nice game against Arkansas State the other day. Uh, they they do a lot of good things. So we will go to work to prepare for that. Um, that'll start on Thursday, and uh, we fly down there on Friday. Um, we practice here and then fly down there Friday and then, um, sorry, Saturday. Thursday, Friday here, we fly down there Saturday, have Sunday, and then we play Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then we'll get back for, for Thanksgiving. It's kind of a neat stretch, isn't it, Tony, to have three games in one city, three straight days? Yeah, I mean, we, we were excited about it when we, when we uh, you know, first saw the tournament. So Savannah's a great city. Um, and. You know, I, I appreciate administration here. We went to Las Vegas last year. Um, that was something that, you, you know, trying to grow the program, I felt like we needed to do some things like that. Um, they let us go to Vegas last year. That was a really good experience for our team. Um, we're going to Savannah this year. That's going to be a really good experience for our team as well. And in the middle of that, I, I, think, it's, I think it presents a really good spot for us to really get better because – there's not a lot of fluff down there. We're going to enjoy kind of 24 hours with prep work in there, and then it's game, game, game. And I think that I think this group needs that a little bit. Focus, time and time and time again. You know, we don't have time to mess around. We got to we got to lock back in and go again. And I see growth in that, but we really we're really going to have to take off. If we're going to play down there well in Savannah, and that will carry through if we can get it done. Other questions for Coach? Thanks, guys. Um, I think it's all just about confidence. I think my team gives me a lot of that. They encourage me to keep shooting when I'm not making them. And you just have to, as a shooter, you, you can get hot at any moment. So you just have to continue to shoot and see it go through the rim. So I've been watching this game tonight. It seemed like you, there were multiple of you. You were one of the dominant ones in the first quarter. I constantly put the ball shooting threes. But talk about this roster. Cause it feels like every, if one person can't make a three, you have a whole set of guards who can shoot from beyond the arc. Yeah, I think we're going to be a really good shooting team. I think that's something that we um, practice a lot. And I everybody has the ability to knock down a shot when it counts. So our team is really good in that aspect. And I think we have a lot of confidence because we take it from each other. Like, we always are hyping each other up. And that just gives us motivation to keep shooting it. Obviously, you've been practicing in that arena for a while now. Mm -hmm. But uh, your first game there. Uh, could have got off to a better start for you. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to be part of the herd, and I'm really excited to see what this team has. I think we haven't even reached our full potential, and if we play like we play for four quarters, like we played in the first quarter, that's when we're, we're going to be great, and we're, we're going to work every day for that. You heard Coach talk about the opportunity next week to play back to back to back. Mm -hmm. I think, I think it's a great opportunity. Um, I think it's a great opportunity to have kind of like a feel for tournament play because tournament play is a whole nother level of competition and it's back to back to back like that. So I think that will prepare us and it will give people what they need to see before we head into tournament and stuff down later in the stretch. Joe, you know, talk about that back to back to back. I was thinking about it. How much is also conference play? Well? Like when, you, when you get to the end of the summer conference play, it's going to be game Thursday, mm -hmm. off day Friday, back at Saturday. So, again, a little chunky at prep time, but how much does that help for the later, latter portion of the season when conference games matter? Um, I think that just being focused and locked in and really taking in what coach has to say and showing up to practice every day is very crucial in that aspect of it. And, you know, if we have a bad night, then we gotta we gotta bounce back. Like it's just it's how things go, and I think we'll be I think we'll be fine at that. Sure, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.